Hi everybody! In this video I'd like to demonstrate some of the cool features of ImageCraft Jumpstarter C for Cortex. After you install the demo from the ImageCraft website, you invoke the code blocks IDE. You can see the IDE is only using about 23 megabytes. Unlike Eclipse, which can take over a minute to load, this loads in just a few seconds. Now I'm going to open a demo workspace. A workspace can have multiple projects. The active projects title is in bold. Now let's do a full rebuild on this project to show how fast the compiler works. As each file is compiled, the compiler command is shown in the build log window. There are over 20 source files in this project, but the full rebuild is actually quite fast. This window also shows you how much flash memory is being used by the program, about 43k in this case. The IDE is state-of-the-art, with features such as code folding, like this. If you hover over a function name, it shows you the function prototype. Right-clicking on the name brings up a menu where you can do things like jump to the declaration of the function, or jump to the implementation of the function. The CodeBlocks IDE is open source, but ImageCraft has added a bunch of user-friendly features. Now let's invoke Project Build Options. You select the target by the chip manufacturer's name and then the device name. You can see in the build log that the IDE generates the correct memory addresses when it performs the build, without having you write a linker file or specifying memory addresses by hand. So you can check it out for yourself and download our fully functional 45 demo today at imagecraft.com. Our email is info at imagecraft.com. We love to hear from people if it isn't spam. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.